So here's the sketch that I'm going to be painting digitally. You want to make sure that your sketch has some sort of detailing going on. As you guys can see, the braids are kind of shaded. Her eyes are shaded. I have drawn her eyebrows. So if you add a little bit of details on the sketch, it's going to help you out a lot when it comes to painting it digitally. Now, once you're in sketchbook, import the picture and I have imported it. I'm just adjusting the size of it. If you want, you can just erase the excess part where you have your hands showing on or the background is showing. You can erase that, but I did not mind it. So I kind of left it like that. Now, once in sketchbook, you want to create a layer and place it over the sketch. And now we're going to be playing around with blend modes. So I'm going to start with overlay just to um, add a color over the sketch just to show you guys what I mean like this now what you want to do you want to see which blend mode looks the best which blend mode makes the painting looks good and kind of realistic and as in it does not look washed out so in my case it was linear burn and I really liked how it made the skin color look so based on that I'm gonna start with coloring the whole painting or adding the base color to each and every part of this sketch and when you do that you want to always make sure that you are first of all doing it in different layers meaning I am painting skin in this specific layer with this specific blend mode called linear burn but I might paint the hair in an, another layer with different blend mode so you want to play around with blend modes and see which one looks the best or which one makes the color looks the best on your sketch so and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I meant by what I said I am gonna pick a color a random color I painted the eyes with it I really liked how the eyes looked with this specific blend mode which is overlay again I can go ahead and play around with blend modes different blend modes but I really liked overlay so I'm just gonna keep this one so that's what you want to do in the first step you want to add base colors and you want to play around with layer modes or blend modes to see which one looks the best for one specific part of the sketch all right you don't want to paint the whole sketch in just one blend mode so here I'm done with adding the base colors as you guys can see I have different layers with the different blend modes I played around with it but now the overlay Overall result is looking really really good that's what you want to do to make the whole painting stand out now I'm gonna go ahead with the shading part and for that you want to make sure that you're locking the layer I now am first of all shading the skin and I picked up a darker version of the skin color I also made sure that I picked up a more kind of warm kind of skin tone because right now it's kind of looking dull so I wanted to add, add some warmth to the face so because my sketch already had some sort of shading going on some sort of detailing going on it was really easy for me to create the shadows that's what I mean when you're sketching make sure you're adding some details but you're not sketching it completely but even if you are sketching it completely or where you're adding a lot of shadows and detailing to it it is still going to work okay but yeah it was really easy to add the shadows and also the color you are picking up might look different when you actually put it on the screen or the paper or the sketch because you have a blend mode selected okay so don't worry about that just keep on checking okay what color is looking good for my shadows and whichever one looks good just choose that and go ahead with painting or shading your sketch so that's what I'm doing here nothing special just creating shadows again how to create shadows on face and everything else I already have tons and tons and tons of videos on my channel on sketchbook how to do it so I'll be linking all those down in the description box below but it's just really easy I just am keeping the shadows minimal I'm not adding a whole lot of them because then it just I just don't want to make it look messy because it's like a sketch that I'm painting digitally so I when I do that I always make sure I am keeping the shadowing part minimal okay so that's what I'm doing here and I'm just gonna move on with the next step in the next step I painted this white part of the eyes and I literally had to choose white color for this one because no other lighter brighter color was actually showing the brightness that I really was looking for so I did that and it's okay because obviously I the blend mode of the color the layer is different so I cannot really expect for 
or any light color to show its true um, hue, uh, so as to say. But yeah, I uh, did that and then I started shading it as well with a pinkish color just to make it look not completely realistic, human-like, okay? So that's what I did here, very simple. Here I picked up a lighter skin color to highlight the face and this is really important even though it looks good as is but uh, I really like highlighting. It really actually makes your painting look that much more beautiful okay so I started with lightly barely touching the face by the way I'm using airbrush and I kind of was switching back and forth from airbrush to tattoo inker and I mainly use tattoo inker to add base colors or wherever I needed to fill in the color and sometimes I also used it to add more harsh detailing but yeah you can you, it's, it's up to you brush here doesn't really matter whatever brush you like you can use doesn't really matter so yeah here I'm just adding highlights and nothing special again highlights make sure you are also if you are painting something like doesn't really matter what you're painting always always make sure to not just add shadow but that you're also adding highlights as well because that's really really important and actually kind of brings everything together so that's what I did right here and the face is done and I'm not gonna touch it anymore I might add blush later on but the face is done now we're gonna move on to the hair again because I had a lot of detailing already going on shading the hair is not gonna be a difficult task here so if you sketch as I said earlier if you already add details to your sketch it's gonna get really easy for you to paint it digitally so I picked up a darker color and I added just shadows I added more shadows to the whole hairstyle and also the braids now braids already look as if they are nicely detailed or I've added shadows to them but I still did add some more shadows just to kind of bring the whole hairstyle together so that's what i'm doing right here nothing special nothing much to explain if you want me to go into detail as to how to shade braids or how to sketch and everything else i can create a separate video for that now i went ahead and added highlights Okay, again, highlights are really important. Doesn't really matter what which part of the painting you're painting or shading, highlights are important. Okay, they just look so good. So as you guys can see how different and how good the braid is looking right now versus how it was looking before. Okay. So I added highlights on the braids and also at the top part of the hair like that. And I kind of blended it with colorless brush, not smudge brush, but colorless brush. Again, if you don't know the difference, I still again have a video on that, the difference between colorless and smudge brush, okay? But make sure to use colorless brush here and make sure the opacity is really really low wherever you're using it okay so that's that we've successfully painted the hair as well now we're gonna move forward with the another part so once i was happy with the base layer of highlights i went ahead with the color once again i picked up tattooing her and i started adding these little dots that's how i create highlights i create first layer of highlights which is kind of smudged out and then i go ahead and add harsh looking highlights which are usually just dots and it actually makes the whole thing look as if it's shining so as i said i wanted to add blush and here i am adding blush on the same layer i painted the face so i did not create another layer for this one because the pink color here was looking good and i always whenever i'm adding blush i make sure that i'm not just adding it on the cheeks or the nose i also tend to add a bit of it on on the forehead as well and I kind of like to bring that blush down from the cheek area to the jaw area just ever so slightly just to make sure that it's not looking as if all the bl blush is just sitting on her cheek it does not look good and does not look natural at all now what you want to do is create new layer change the layer mode to soft glow pick up a brighter color I usually tend to pick up a warm orangish or yellowish color and here we are painting 
the lighting it's important it's not necessary you can skip this step because the painting was already looking good but when you add lighting to your paintings it actually makes the whole thing look that much more again beautiful why because it helps in adding depth to your painting okay because there's always a light source which is like hitting the object and it's really necessary to depict that in your paintings as well because it helps in creating depth again if you want me to create an in-depth video on lighting then i can do that i would love to do that because i love creating lightings okay so as you guys can see it's already looking so good okay it's already adding depth to my painting and i like that so soft glow is a perfect blend mode especially in sketchbook to create lighting okay it's not too much but it's also not too dull i did not like color dodge or add for this one hence the reason why i used soft glow also one thing also i forgot to tell you guys whenever you add highlights make sure you're adding those with the layer mode called normal okay but you don't want to use any other blend mode when you're adding highlights and you are done with the painting that's it and that's how you paint your sketches digitally on sketchbook it's really easy it's a fun process i really liked the whole process also because it was really easy the process itself was effortless because again as i said i already had details going on so i didn't have to work that hard to bring that depth out from that painting so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up i would love to see any of your creations if you do create something out of this video i would love to see that you can tag me on instagram i will be linking my instagram down in the description box below but yeah other than that i will see you guys in my next video